Okay guys, welcome again. Sorry for not uploading in a long time, last week. Because, well, I have no reason why I can't upload. I just got ahead to get prepared for this video. I didn't get sick, I didn't get ill from the damn coronavirus. So everybody's saying, so everybody probably is thinking, uh, you probably got the coronavirus. I didn't, um, I've mostly not been having a good time at home, like home like this, I don't really like that, I like to mostly get out and do things, and it's been kind of annoying, but I've listened to some albums, I've gotten a uh, video prepared here, this waste ranking, um, this is number 16, ranking number 16. Uh, they have uh, six studio albums. Hopefully I'm right on that. Hopefully I didn't miss one, but yeah, they have six. They have six studio albums. They are pretty short, except a few. Uh, I know the Fatal Flaw is very long compared to the other stuff. Um, let's start it out. Number six, or my least favorite one of their albums is... Waste Them All, their first one, 2003. Um, it's really short. The production value is kind of not that good. The vocals are not that good. Cool concept. A lot of cool songs on here like uh, Jock Pit and uh, Toxic Revolution. Drunk as Shit. A lot of these are cool names. But I gotta give this one a 5 out of 10 for this uh, album. And then number 5, or my least, or my second least favorite one of their albums, is The Fatal Flaw. It's their 2012 album. It's longer than mostly the rest of their discography. Uh, Jesus Freaks is a cool song. Death Tax is pretty good. Authority Complex, Your Cut Off is a classic of Municipal Waste. Uh, covered in Sick, The Barfer is good. Just, it just gets put here because the other stuff is better. And that's where we go to number four, where I actually have a copy of this one. Uh, not many, I have a lot of uh, CDs that are just, I have one CD of a band. This one I have three, which I found at local record shops, which this uh, next one, or number four, is a hazardous mutation. Um, if you're wondering why I have this on my hand, finger, it's because I uh, had a little injury with my finger with guitar. So don't be grossed out by it. It's... It's a pretty nasty injury, but it is what it is. Uh, so, thing I like on this one, the favorite one on this one is Bang Over. The concept behind that song is, well, after a show, you get what they call a bang over, where you headbang so much you can't move your neck, and it hurts. I don't get it anymore, because I will, when I go to shows, I headbang like constantly but I don't get that feeling in my neck anymore after the show it goes away after in time unleash the bastards is an awesome song um mind eraser um and yeah great album their second release and it's a nine out of ten for me for this one uh next one is number three or uh, one I don't have. One I don't have and I've been looking for and I cannot find on the internet and nowhere. Which is a uh, Massive Aggressive. The one that has uh, Wolves of Chernobyl. The Wrath of, uh, Wrath of the Severed Head. Upside Down Church. Wrong Answer and uh, Acid Sentence. Is the uh, songs that I really... And Mechanical. And Mechanical is another one that I like from this. Overall, good, good, uh, 
good stuff. Album's a little bit. I don't know like how long the running time is for this album. It's I pretty sure it's pretty short. But yeah. Cool stuff. Cool production value. It has more of a thrashy sound than the other releases. And that goes to number two, or my second favorite album by them. Which it is most people's favorite, which is uh the art of partying. The uh third album, the one that has the ones like pre-game and uh, Headbanger Face Rip, me Mental Shock, The Art of Partying, uh, Lunch Hall, Food Brawl, Beer Pressure, all the classic songs from them. It's just, you know what's number one now. You do know what number one is right now, so... So yeah, no, and let's get to number one, or my favorite and the smallest album that they've done, and I think this album will never be topped, which is uh, Slime and Punishment, their recent one, their 2017 release. A big gap between uh, The Fatal Feast and Slime and Punishment, which the gap was way too long. But their best material came out of that big gap. Uh, br uh, breathe Grease or Breath Grease, however you want to say it, is my favorite one, favorite Municipal Way song ever. The video was awesome for it. Amateur Stench is great. Low Tolerance is great. Think Fast. Parole Violators is a cool, uh, I wouldn't say song, maybe intro. Um, Shrednecks, funny, like, a really cool name, really cool name for a song, and yeah, and this is actually the album I listen to the least, actually. So that's how we rank Municipal Waste albums, next one will be a little while so I can get that one done, because I want to, uh, I want to get Kiss out of the way, I want to get Kiss out of the way, I definitely want to, because that's one that, or... It's either, I could either do Kiss or Death Leopard. Either one of those two. So yeah, I've been throwing some uh, bands out there for uh, ranking, but, well, I, w I did throw Deicide out there for ranking, but, well, yeah, I could do Deicide, but, it's so yeah, the one that it's between is Death Leopard. And kiss. There will be a poll on my Twitter, or no, not my Twitter, but my Instagram. It'll be for 24 hours. You can vote there, or if you actually watch the whole video, which not many people do, because I kind of have a uh, tendency of messing up, rambling. It's something that I need to work on in the near future. I've done. This is number 16 ranking, which. I can't believe I'm up to number 16 and hasn't run dry. Last video, go watch the last video. I returned to Band vs. Band with Mayhem vs. Uh, Immortal. So yeah, this is my rambling. La this is my last second rant. I do a little segment after the video of just rambling on about shit. And then I need to stop myself before I uh, make the video 10 minutes to 20-15 minutes of just... The intro, the ranking, and then just the ran random shit that I say at the end, which. So yeah, I'm going to stop myself here. I'm going to end the video right now, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.